Welcome back to another Geek or What video and today it's $350 gaming PC build time and this build is insane for just $350. You really have to remember $350 is barely enough to buy you a half decent laptop at somewhere like Best Buy. So let me take you over this build and how it performs. This build will smash the latest AAA titles at 1080p at medium settings whilst achieving between 30 and 60 frames per second. For slightly older titles such as CSGO, World of War, Warcraft, League of Legends, Minecraft, you're going to be getting some really respectable frame rates while above that 60 FPS threshold. It's a really, really solid build, so let's kick it off with the CPU. The CPU is a new one from AMD, the Athlon X4 880K. It's basically a rebranded 860K with a few uh, added features. It comes clocked at 4 GHz, which is a really, really nice clock speed. It's got 4 cores, maintaining compatibility with the latest AAA titles. Dual core CPUs really are slipping behind nowadays and comes with a AMD's brand new race cooler, which is easily the best stock cooler included with the CPU I've seen out of any of AMD's high end or low end options. Out of any of Intel's high end or low end options, the race cooler is an incredible option. For the motherboard, the Biostar Hi-Fi A70U3P is much more streamlined, shall we say, than its name suggests. It's got an FM2 Plus socket, which is a socket you need for our CPU, and also comes in a micro ATX form factor, sitting nice and snug in our build, and meaning the build isn't actually going to occupy that much space. For the memory, one 8GB DIMM of Kingston's HyperX Fury it comes in black, white, red or blue, but I've put a black one in the parts list to kind of coordinate with the other colours in this build. DDR3 1600MHz is all you need for gaming and it allows for upgrade as well of up to 16GB of RAM by just getting another one of these DIMMs later on down the line. For storage, Seagate's Barracuda gives 1TB of storage in a 3.5 inch form factor, which is really quite standardised for hard drives. It's going to fit lovely in our case and going to give us plenty of room for all our games, movies, music and of course our copy of Windows. 7200 RPM is as fast as mainstream kind of consumer hard drives get. Really, really solid option. For the video card, Sapphire's Radeon R7 360 has a 2GB frame buffer, ideal for 1080p. You're going to be getting some really solid frame rates out of this card and it's also quite a cool running card. Uh, it's got Sapphire's Nitro Cooler on and Sapphire are a really, really respectable GPU brand. Keeping at this system housed and nice and cool is Corsair's Carbide Series 88R. It's a new one from Corsair and its micro ATX form factor means this build isn't going to occupy too much space. With front panel USB 2 and USB 3, room for up to 5 expansion cards and an ATX power supply, it's got everything we need. And talking of power supplies, EVJ's 430 watt gives enough wattage to keep this build nice and juiced up. The 80 plus certification will guarantee that this power supply will run above 80% efficiency at all times also increasing the longevity and lifespan of the whole build if you did enjoy this build make sure to drop a like rain and subscribe follow my twitter at geekawatt and as always we will see you in the next geekawatt video